in the Fairy Tale Zero episode two or Fairy Tale episode uh, two thousand fourteen to ninety two one hundred. We see that Mavis still talk in her mind about the day where Blue Skull attacked the Red Lizards, or something like that. But however, for some reason, she actually managed to save Sarah, and they have been living on this island ever since that time, becoming teenagers. And Mavis has spent all her time, most of the time, cleaning the library and uh, reading the library. While at the time, the two girls seem to have become best friends, almost a little bit too much. And, uh, well, they are the only two living creatures on this earth, so yeah, I wonder. That is until the bounty hunters of uh, Jurid, Precht and Warudo. Uh, lands on the island then things really take a turn for the interesting at first when Yuri entered the library and sees Mavis he at first thinks he's seeing a ghost but when he realizes that the Mavis is talking they begin to talk about what is happening around here I mean Yuri tried to pull a lie that he's not here for anything special but Mavis having read so many books I actually can actually read pretty people very easily. So Yuri reveals he's a treasure hunter. And uh, he wants Mavis to tell him about where the Tenju Jade is. An S-class treasure. But thereafter. But uh, Mavis doesn't know what, they're, what he knows talking about. And Sierra has hide behind the wall. So they decide to uh, play a little game, or Yuri decides to play a little game, a little game of guessing the correct answer, so to speak. And it turns out that uh, Yuri, although he looks pretty grown up, is a teenager, too. Because maybe he's also a teenager, but she looks much younger. She almost looks like a, well, she take, maybe she does look like a 13-year-old, but in a part of her almost looks like a 10-year-old. That's the weird part. <laughs> Either way, the game, he uses a magic item because apparently he's a treasure hunter and does no real magic in order to detect lies. But Mavis pulls a very fast question on him. But many, how many times have you blinked? Because Mavis didn't really blink. And, well, you did have a breakdown when he realizes he cannot talk, answer that and Mavis outsmarts him. But that funny moment is breaking down when Precht and Warod reveals they know where the ten year jade was. But um, when they go to it, it's of course not there. But Mavis puts two and two together and realizes that when the guild was attacked with Blue Skull, they most likely took the jade with them. So the boys decides to head back into town. However, Mavis wants to follow with them. Mostly because Ten Jade was a natural treasure of her, of her island Ten Jade, she wants to take it back. At first, the treasure guys refuses, but uh, eventually complies. During that time, when she packs her bags, Sarah appears, and inter and Mavis introduces herself, introduce her to Yurid. For some strange reason, reacts strange to that, but instead just as high. As they sail the ship, Yuri in his mind begins to talk uh, that uh, he grew fond of the little girl, Mavis, but at the same time wondering uh, uh, if uh, he was the cause of a very unhappiness in her life. Or maybe more likely saying that whatever something had happened. That's Fairy Tale Zero. You have some comedic moment with Yuri. <sighs> and for the fact that Sierra survived, we do not know how yet, but there seems to be some pretty far out theories about that. So give me your thoughts if you have any.